Hey you guys, my name is Dilenka and today is a very special day as I am going to take you with me and you'll see what I experienced throughout the day as a PhD student. So let's go. I woke up at 8 and now it's half past 9 and I'm gonna eat my breakfast and get going. Yeah, so my stuff is packed. Let's go. We are in the car now and we have about a 15 minute ride to my faculty. Yeah, let's go! So just to give you a little bit of background, um, I am studying at the Faculty of Informatics and Information Technologies and I'm in the field of Applied Informatics focusing on web server security. And when we are pursuing a PhD at my faculty, uh, we also have to teach. And today is the last teaching day of the semester, so you're gonna see what my day kinda looks like. So, I hope you're gonna like it. And some of you might ask why I am driving this car, if it's mine, no, it's not mine. I am time to time driving this awesome Civic Type R, so I'm enjoying it. And I'm also enjoying the looks of all the people who are actually looking at me like, who's driving this car? And it's me. You know, I don't like driving cars which actually stand out because I don't want to be recognized, I don't want people to be looking at me, it's just not something I would personally like or enjoy, but whatever, you know, this car is red and it has a wing, so I would look too. So I'm just taking my stuff. And let's go. We had some complications at the entrance because they wanted to see my COVID test, but yeah, it's all done. And now I'm showing you a bit around because there's no one here during COVID, so enjoy. And here we are. So, my office is on the fourth floor. Let's go. As you can see here, all areas for the students, one that wants to learn. There are the elevators and toilets on each floor. has its own little kitchen. No one there. And here we are. This is my office and as you can see it's pretty empty here because there are other doctoral students here with me, but as we have COVID and the pandemic, basically no one is here and I'm mostly alone <laughs> the whole time, basically the whole semester this year. So it's a bit lonely here. And as you can see, I'm gonna open the window. This is my view. You'd see some Bratislava landmarks there, but it's kind of misty. As you can see, it's a really big mess here. 
and partly because of the cleaning ladies here because they put all your stuff kind of in weird places where it should not belong but whatever i have a power cube here which is kind of interesting and what's also interesting i have this uh usb to usb c lightning and micro usb here so i can basically charge anything and this has been so helpful then i have a lamp here which isn't even unpacked but whatever i'm teaching in the evening so um i want to feel cozy and i don't want to like turn on all these lights because they have a blue color you know that this cold white and i just don't feel good <laughs> with such light so i'm just using this lamp and then i have a little cute pygmy puff here so yeah that's about this setup actually i also have a 2k monitor i received for work and yeah let's do something okay i hope you can see me because I'm doing this for the first time and I also like, I also hope you like the vlog and maybe I could do something like this in the future too. So what I do at this time is that I usually eat my breakfast, but I had my breakfast at home because um, I woke up a little bit earlier today. So I'm just going to check some emails and grade some uh, student projects. I'm usually just doing this on my MacBook unless I don't need two screens. So I'm not going to be uh, working on two monitors as I just simply don't need it. So why would I do it, right? when I'm alone obviously so I don't like sitting here for the whole day and I also have to be here until 8 p.m. so I'm usually going to an open space where we have a coffee machine and where some colleagues meet so we all do our work there and drink coffee get lunch etc so I think it's the right time to go there and also one of my colleagues has bought some equipment for the coffee machine so we can have lattes so i also brought a cup for the lattes so i can enjoy my coffee in quite a regular but still fancy cup as we don't have such cups here so yeah let's go Here, all the cars are always drifting. And here are some plants. Hi. Hi. You want to say something? You should be sick. Nothing, okay. I know that I'm sick. Did you say something? Yeah, that's something. So, yeah, here's the coffee machine and. That's the fuel of our day. So I'm here only with my colleague Lukas, but I thought that it would be quite inspirational if he would tell you about his research, so Lukas? The Border Gateway Protocol plays a significant role in inter-routing process. Facilitating routing information, information exchange between uh, autonomous systems. 
the internet consists of thousand of autonomous system which transfer uh, data uh, among them. In general, BGP has a naive behavior because it trusts its uh, neighbors without authentication or advertise uh, IP prefix. The blockchain can uh, protect against uh, attacks uh, as root leaks or BGP hijacking. And what have you found out in your research? We designed a method based on blockchain uh, where routers uh, should uh, not uh, learn uh, false prefixes. So I was visiting my mom yesterday and she was cooking and we have some leftovers here, which is a great lunch because we don't have to order delivery and it is only the two of us. We kind of shared the rest. So we guys, I'm back in my office with another latte and now it's time for me to have my labs with my students. So where I'm basically teaching the labs and today the students are going to present their of presentations to me about the project they were working on for the whole semester so that's what I'm gonna do for the next four hours so let's go to turn on the light for you but it usually is turned off like this there's the view and there's my table so cozy anyway um two hours behind me and now another two hours with another lab so let's go Just saying I had a lot of issues with my drinking habits so I'm now trying to drink because otherwise I get really bad headache as usual and as you can see it's pretty lonely here at this time so about four hours later I had two laps and I'm pretty pretty exhausted from all the meets and having to hear to each and every presentation as you can tell that's not easy even if you're a student so yeah let's go home Anyway, here is actually my name written, here, Inglenka, that's me, let's go home. So I'm in the car, I'm gonna go home and I just wanted to thank you all for watching and I hope you'll watch my videos from now on and I'll see you next time, bye.